What's a happening there? A lot of towns there? don't want to talk about it because they're so embarrassed. Oh my by God! It. Yeah, tell us. In Springfield, they're eating the onion nuggets. When the f- is TJ gonna wise up to the fact that that Paul's ego ain't nothing but a no good low down dude? Russian propagandist, Republican piece You're a of Tim shit. Pool, Paul. You have to bring up that thread and look <laughs> at the latest development in that thread and look at my re- dude. My response to that thread, I treated it like David Attenborough, dude. It was great. <laughs> all right, I'm pulling it up now. All right, Paul, but we just know. I mean, look, Tim Pool. I mean, outed. I mean, all these Republican people outed, dude. I, I mean, mean, look, dude. If I get outed, I'm gonna be pissed because they've been sending my check to somebody else. I know. I mean, look, the, we know you're on the Kremlin payroll, Paul. Nice of you to be coy about it, but I mean, clearly, I would love to oh, be no, the Kremlin hit me up. Count? Oh, he quit. Oh, yeah. He rage quitted. He rage quit his account, and you'll see why. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, come on, so bro. Sad. If you're, I mean, if Paul is literally getting on the Kremlin payroll, why has you quit? TJ figured out Paul has become a Republican. <laughs> now, Paul's a classic liberal, guys. Come on. And here we see our rarest specimen Autismus Retari Penemicris. <laughs> We see how it blathers to itself before reacting to its own pathetic mewling with uproarious laughter. <laughs> you gotta hit the expand, dude. Right. Oh, okay. Deleted. Oh, what? Oh, keep keep going. The plus keep going. Get the little plus sign next to it, though. Plus. You can't delete the message. Putin worked you for free, Russia simp XD. See how it doesn't know we're laughing at it, not with it. Fascinating, primitive prefrontal cortex. What a shame. <laughs> David Adbro voice. David Adbro voice. Also, you left your wife several years because some hot young thing sent you flirty Instagram messages. Then you broke up with Ashley and found another girl in fashion with your F-list celebrity <laughs> status. Lol. Cow! <laughs> <laughs> You think Anne Frank's diary is fake. You don't get to act like you're smarter than anyone. See how it deletes its entire account when confronted with its own irrelevance. (laughs) But don't worry. It's a bit of a chameleon. It'll be back with a new account soon. (laughs) (laughs) I said to you, Paul, bravo. Internet internet anthropology, bro. (laughs) I'm telling you, I, my reverse zoo theory is coming true. I've been pushing it on my ideologies recently. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, did, TJ, did you just switch off your VPN? No. Oh, you guys just locked up. Do you have your oh. VPN on? Oh, no. It's off. Oh, okay. I'm just making sure. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no. But no, I've been put the reverse zoo theory is that I, like, they have this thing in their head that they come to us for entertainment, but it is I that am entertained by them. Uh-huh. <laughs> Isn't it okay or something? Tucker, you are a Kyle Kalinsky clone. I don't know if anybody's ever told you that. Do you see him there? Uh, yeah. He looks Did a little you know, Kalinskish. Yeah, you know who he looks like more though, as a YouTuber. Oh. At least from what I'm seeing here, is uh, uh that dude Ryan George that does oh, uh, pitch. Me- he does this. They just that popular movie thing, pitch meeting. Oh, oh okay. I've seen yeah, it. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. He kind of looks like him from in that in that picture anyway. So yeah, what cool. do we have from Tucker here? Ten dollars. And it says in the red corner, a geriatric who views Palestinians with d- racist disdain in the blue corner, an empty suit who holds total indifference to Palestinians. Welcome to hell. Woo! Welcome to hell. Motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, America. Hey, let me ask you a question, Tucker. So strong. Are so you a f- Palestinian, bro? Yeah. Are you a Palestinian? Have you ever yeah, even met you- a f- Palestinian? Who gives a shit? Somebody right. asked if I played um, enough of these damn Palestinians. Marine too yet? Yes, I started it. Um, enough. I started it yesterday. I haven't played much, but I started it yesterday. Um, space marining it up. Sweet. It's badass, bro. Oh wow! Um, He's getting shiny. Gleaning. The machine is. I mean, glistening. And Anna, by the way, is as the. I think the term is serving lately. I don't know if you've noticed. Mm-hmm. Have you do you know that term serving? No, I'm not strangely aware of it. enough, I don't. That just means like um she's dressing all fierce and shit. She's like going bang boom pow with the dress. 
You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And Anna has been the pink lipstick, the party dress. There's something going on here, folks. I'm just letting you know. She's serving. Please sit on my face. <laughs> she, she, dude, I'm not even going to front right now, dude. I agree, Daniel. She looks fine as right here. She Look does. So fine. I mean, she you got to look. When you have Jank on one side, you got to balance it out in some way. I mean, you got to balance it out. And I think that's probably wise True. to uh, balance it out. Oh, they went on commercial break. I think we all, we all like playing God with this shit. So let's do this. You know what? We, we've done this a few times, but uh, we've never just done it, each of us individually, calling the states. Okay. So uh, who wants to go first? <coughs> call you go first, stage. TJ. I go first. Good. Yeah, TJ, you go first. Just, we're, call, we're calling the battle. You break. call them. You call them the way you, you see them. Okay. And so, TJ, what is your call? You want me to do my call? Yeah. All right, I'll do mine. I think Wisconsin going blue. I think this here going blue. I'll go back. I'll come back to Pennsylvania in a second. I think this going red. I think this going red. I think this motherfucker here going uh, blue. I think this mother. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, a very close race there as it was hey, last. You know what? I'm going to say it's going to go red. I'm going to say this is going to edge blue. There's what I think. Damn. Happen. So you're saying the photo finish. That's what I see. I yeah. don't know if I fundamentally disagree with you where it makes sense to do another list. I got a couple of points of disagreement. All right. Where All right, would so you disagree, Paul? Because I'm pretty much on, uh, I'm pretty much there with TJ. Why don't you go ahead and do yours? I think, um, I'll reset it for you. I think Arizona is red. Okay. So I think Arizona Nevada red. is probably blue. Okay. I think Wisconsin is probably blue. I think Michigan is going to surprise red. Okay. Surprise red from Michigan. Um, because uh, Kamala has just been so intransigent with the Palestine thing. And there's such a huge Muslim contingent of voters there and they're very motivated. So I think Michigan is going to flip red. I think Pennsylvania is going to squeak red as well. I think New North Carolina, mm, probably squeak blue. Oh, okay. That's definitely different. And recent polls have shown her making so, ground in that so state. So damn, yeah. so Georgia. So he's been spending a lot of time in North Carolina. She has. She's and been so there like 17 times. The most recent polls from that state do show her making... Um, so, I don't think it's uh, going to be strong anyway blue. I think it's going to be a horse race, but I think it'll squeak blue. Yeah. And Georgia... So you think this, this race going to come down to Georgia? Then? Dude, to me right now, and I got to be honest with you, maybe this is just like, maybe you guys can provide some feedback. This is the 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 wild card, uh, the the dark horse of the race, because I think this is a toss up right now. So go back it. to the polls for Georgia. All right. Because North Carolina, Paul's saying that. So in, in so this model, the Nate Silver's model, we have Trump See? slightly. Okay, so who? You have a Trump that's lead what I'm here. talking about. I mean, but, no, like, but no one clearly is winning that. No, state I mean, this, that's mar all within the margin of error, TJ. Like, Honey's this is literally error. a coin flip right now in Georgia. But what does your gut say, Paul? Well, yeah, what is my, my gut, gut says, says Georgia's red. Right. My gut says Georgia's going to lean red. That's what my gut tell me. So if that happens, Donald Trump wins. And you got, so you have. Uh, but I think Pennsylvania is going to go the other way. I do think that. You yeah, think, I think, I think Michigan and Pennsylvania? Blue? I think Michigan and Pennsylvania are going to go blue. Personally. That's that's what I think as well. But Pennsylvania, I'm less. I'm pretty sure Michigan's going blue, but I don't think Pennsylvania is more it, of a crap. I mean, sure. it, those those states are going to be close no matter what. I think I mean, Pennsylvania is going to lean red, guys. That's a deep, working class kind of rural state. Mm -hmm. So you think Bi Biden just won because he had the connection? To yeah, Pennsylvania? I mean Biden's a Scranton, Pennsylvania I mean, boy. Is, yeah, he is from there. I mean, he, that I know he got him a Delaware lot of points up there. Um, I don't think Kamala gets shit up there. I don't think she's like buying any votes just being Kamala there. So she's gonna have to work. And I don't really, I've been paying attention to where everybody's going. Mm -hmm. Right, Trump has spent a lot of time in Pennsylvania. Sure. He spent a lot of time in Michigan, a ton of time. That's why I'm leaning at red right now. Okay. Because I think he's firing up people there. And I think from what I've seen of Kamala's strategy, she's going like, eh, Michigan. You know, because she doesn't want to go up there and face the protesters and the shit. And she doesn't want to have a, have a coherent Israel policy. She wants to skate by. So I think she's not going to spend a whole ton of time in Michigan in the coming month. And I think Trump is. 
That's why I think Trump is going to squeak Michigan and Pennsylvania because his ass has been camping those states. Mm-hmm. If you look at where he's been. I mean, smart. I mean, look, with we know this race is coming down to these couple of states. We know North Carolina is really the closest toss that we've got. Pennsylvania, I mean, it's like right there. Michigan is right there. Wisconsin, maybe a little more. I'd say if you want to give any state to her that in the Midwest area, that part of the country, Wisconsin's probably her strongest. Arizona, Nevada, too. I mean, Nevada might lean more towards her, but Arizona could go either way as well. That was a, I mean, all those states, Georgia as well, were just, I mean, decided by a few thousand. I mean, what was it, Georgia? 12,000 votes Biden won by. So, I mean, that's hard for me to think that Trump so, doesn't flip Georgia. So, throw up your map, Scotty. Nevada. Okay. So, I'm thinking, so if I'm, I'm doing mine. Georgia's going to go to Trump. I just got a feeling. I think he's going to win North Carolina. Okay. I think Kamala's going to win Pennsylvania. I think she's going to win Michigan and Wisconsin. So you're almost exactly the same. That's why I'm saying so that's far. why I wanted Paul to do his, which already puts her at the win. But what do you think the, the, of Nevada? Well, I think Arizona. Arizona might go to Trump and I think Nevada will go to Kamala. I mean, your map is identical to mine. That's what I'm saying. That's why I didn't want to. <laughs> it's basically why, the same. Exact that's why I didn't want That's why I didn't. It was like, you know, let's get Paul because Paul. This is disagree. what I see, too. But, you know, that's I'm mostly just going by gut. Honestly, me too. That's what's well, all you got at this point. I'm you trying know, to, I'm trying to base what I my that map I gave you on where these people are spending the most money and time. Like sure. Kamala's strategy is clearly scoop North Carolina. She wants to take that out from under Trump so that if she loses yeah. one of these other big ones, it covers a little bit. Yeah, because mm-hmm. imagine if yeah, she loses Georgia, but she gets North Carolina. That's a right. pickup. And or then she it's a loses wash. Michigan, but she gets North North Carolina. It kind of one. cancels it out right that's mm-hmm. true yeah that's definitely um, that's definitely a wise way to look at it i think because i mean that i mean obama barely won i think obama's first term won north carolina that was and, and that was decisive and helped him win and at least in the last couple of weeks trump has just set up camp in pennsylvania i mean he wants to flip that mother blue and i think there's a i think there's a really good chance of it well that's right. where that's I'm, gonna go, that, I'm, I'm gonna sorry, go kill my dog <laughs> but but remember, that's the last time Pennsylvania, because all the uh, the what was it, the uh, absentee voting hadn't come in, come in yet. So then, of course, it was looking like, oh, shit, Trump's going to win Pennsylvania. Then, of course, Biden had, was like, oh, all these people who voted early, all these people, those votes hadn't been tabulated. And then Pennsylvania swings to Biden, which was then, of course, gave him the election. Look at this fella. So I, I think you're right. I think Trump is definitely going to be laser focused on flipping that one to him because that gives him a strong ability to win the election. Look at this fella here. What's that? So today is a debate. <laughs> it must be nice to be you. Man, I, I, I envy, envy you so much. I dude. envy you, yeah. <laughs> what a f- happy little lucky Is today person. debate? There's, there's plenty of people like that. I'll talk about them. I'm like, yeah, the debate. And people are like, what? Debate? What the f- debate about what? What's the debate? <laughs> Guys, we got some new merch. We got a pro new and merch. or anti-Trump shirt, depending on how you want to interpret it. It's a Morton Don, baby. Who doesn't love a Morton Don? I mean, I love more than Pessimist.co. You can get a hoodie. You can get a f-ing shirt. What about Rudy? People have asked for this People one. People have asked for this Rudy Guliani shirt. People have been beating down my f-ing door for this one. Like, People dude. love the Rudy Guliani I shirt. Love, and it's, it's basically this, this shirt's called the Color Tone. So it's kind of a, like almost this grungy oh, yeah, kind of look. Grunge. And you can see the wasteland behind it. The beautiful wasteland. The beautiful, beautiful wasteland. We got a hoodie of that. Too. And if you buy them both together, you get a bundle. If you're in the merch tier, there's, yeah, there's a bundle. Our patron, stuff. you're gonna get a promo code tonight whenever I get home from this. Yes, looks like a pro Trump shirt. Like I said, this shirt can play either way. This can be pro Trump. This can be anti Trump. It depends on how you want to interpret it. In fact, just go out and wear it in the world. Yeah, see what people think. Let it be a roar shack. Look, test. Yeah, these are edgy shirts, guys. We're not trying to make uh, boring merch for you. Hell yeah. So we're, I guess we can look at a couple of these policy Five bullshit. minutes away. All right, we'll we'll you know, we'll give policy as much time as America actually gives it uh, when they actually consider you just pick, this. Pick you a policy. Let's see. Pick a policy. Be nice to Dino, Paul. Oh shit. Okay. All right. You want to ensure that no one breached. is above the law, Scotty? You want to protect civil rights? You want to support American innovation? I mean, what you want to do, Scotty? Let's see. I want to say uh, cut taxes for the middle class. Where is that? Up here? That's a big thing. So, of course, we're gonna look. what are they going to do for me? All right, here's what they're going to do for you, Scotty. Yeah, what's in it for Scotty? Vice President Harris and Governor Walls believe that working families deserve a f- break. I mean, I have to agree with that. So, so far, so good. That's why, under their plan, more than 100 million working and middle-class Americans get a tax cut. 
yeah, cut my... T oh, dude, I'm signed up. They will do, do this by restoring two tax cuts designed to help middle class and working Americans, the child tax credit and the earned income tax credit. Okay, cool. Through Boo. these two programs... Ooh, I don't get one of those, so fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm a, no, I'm a, look, this sounded good to me. Keep it coming. <laughs> yeah. As the first <laughs> online Bernie, 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 Bernie Bro here. and now recovering Bernie Bro, I'll vote for either Jill Stein or Cornell West. Good. All right, you, you. you. I'm yeah, I'm all for it, dude. Do what you want to do, dude. Donkey's balls, if you want. I I really don't give a f Paul. Bro. Can I uh, can yeah. I tell you something, Paul? Yes, sir. You know I I I um I don't mean to cut this very interesting policy thing short, but uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I'm suffering mm -hmm. from a f a disease, Paul. You don't have the VDS. Did I didn't give you no, that? No, it's okay. not that because it is I'm, transmissible. You know, I, 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 Kamala joined the race. I got all hyped to play political fuba and shit. And, mm -hmm. but now I find myself suffering from a form of ennui. Oh, yes. And, uh, what it, what I would call it is oui, oui, DJ. pretending I give a shit about this election fatigue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, bud. welcome to the program. Hi. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, like, I'm just, uh, do I do I care about the outcome of this? You don't. Not really, no. You all don't. right, TJ, all right. You don't care about how about making rent more affordable and homeownership more obtainable? Okay. That sounds good. I mean, you're, you guys can't say you're against that, right? I'd like to pay lower rent, Scotty. I'd yeah. like to yeah, right. house, See, Scotty. I'm going to win you guys over to this shit. Vice President Harris always stood up for renters and homeowners. As Attorney General of California, she took on the big banks to deliver $20 billion of, uh, for middle-class families who faced foreclosure and helped pass a homeowner bill of rights, one of the first of its kind in the nation. Yeah, didn't she let the guy who ended up becoming the uh, Treasury Secretary under Trump like get away with like robbing people for even more than that, though? I don't know, Scotty. Did she? Something uh, she like did. that, Scotty. But no, that's that's, <laughs> that's a in footnote. the past. Yeah, that's, that's a, a footnote. That's true. You Sorry. are too burdened by what has been, Scotty. Uh, you're right. I'm sorry. Vice you President Harris unburdened. knows that a home is more than a house. It represents financial security and an opportunity to build intergenerational yeah. wealth. Yeah, I'm, I'm for this now. But yeah. for too many Americans, home ownership is far out of reach. Vice yeah. President Harris has put forth a comprehensive plan to build 3 million more rental units and homes that are affordable to end the nation, national housing supply crisis. Yeah, more houses for people. Uh, for what, about, what about the something like 4.5 million homes that sit unoccupied right now because banks well those are investment properties i mean paul look, yeah. oh, people gotcha. have to make a return on those you know paul gotcha. Gotcha. they need an roi okay yeah. gotcha yeah yeah yeah. as more new homeowner homes are built and affordable housing increases in supply vice president harris will provide first-time home buyers with up to twenty-five thousand. i like the up to there just give me 25 grand bitch yeah. To buy a house. Show sure. me this up to shit. Give me 25 grand. I mean, of course, when these tax rates come in, it's not like people are just going to raise the price to you know, reflect that. But hey, to help with their down payments with more generous support for first uh, generation homeowners. This will help more Americans experience the pride of home ownership and the financial security that it represents and brings, offering more Americans a path to the middle class and economic opportunity. So I don't know about that. Awesome. Uh, how about grow small business, TJ? We don't have time for that. No, shit. we're out of time. Okay. What is this? Well, that's the policies Why we got. Five minutes still. Off. Oh, we're we're there. Uh, yeah. Doing? If you guys, if if you are it, like, do want to take a look at the policies later on, like um, the immigration one sounds like a George W. Bush era immigration. Well, I guess policy. we have a minute still. So. Uh, I, guess okay. we, I guess we do. All right. What do we got? Uh, immigration. Immigration. Where is it? Secure our border. Yeah, that'll be one of them. There's a there's a number of times it's mentioned here. Vice President Harris and Governor Walz believe in tough, smart solutions to secure the border, keep uh. communities safe, and reform our broken immigration system. As Attorney General of California, Vice President Harris went after international drug gangs, human traffickers, and cartels that smuggled guns, drugs, and human beings across the U.S.-Mexican border. As Vice President, she supported the bipartisan border security bill, the strongest reform in decades. The legislation would have deployed more detention uh, detection technology to intercept fentanyl and other drugs and added 1,500 border security agents to protect our border. After Donald Trump killed the border bill, uh, border deal for his own political gain, she and President Biden took action on their own, and now border crossings are at their lowest level in four years. Their administration is seizing record amounts of fentanyl and securing funding for the most significant increase in border agents in 10 years. As president, she will bring back the bipartisan border security bill and sign it into law. 
At the same time, she knows that our immigration system is broken and need comprehensive reform. That includes strong border security and earned pathway to citizenship. And she won't admit that she wants to build the rainbow wall. Just put that in there. Rainbow wall. Build the rainbow wall. I mean, because she does. She's going to build the rainbow wall. You guys feel policy even matters in our current climate. I feel like 80% of people I talk to swing pretty heavy for one party or the other. It matters to some people, but I agree. I think overall, most people's <laughs> minds are made up. Only to wonks. And I most kind of wanted Democrats wrong. to win until liberals spent months accusing me of being a Trump supporter for being anti-cop and anti-genocide, classic conservative values. Now I want to leave this planet. See ya. Yeah, take me with you if you find a way. I don't think you can. Yeah, I think you're planet. stuck here. You know. Here's your <laughs> candidates, America. Wow, they walk out in utter silence. Are they going to shake hands? Thank you. She's going to avoid that right. handshake. Yeah, yeah he tried Good to. Evening. He tried. To. When it comes to the economy, do you believe Americans are better off than they were four years ago? So I was <laughs> Don't raised start as so a I. So and I am so actually the only person I. on this stage who has a plan that is about lifting up the middle class and working. Man, she's off of Zan, bro. I believe in the ambition, the aspirations, the dreams of the American people. She loves and that. And that is why I imagine and have actually a plan to build what that I call an opportunity economy. That is a good way to fill space economy. when you're talking. She's 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 bro. We know oh, that no. we have she's a, a shortage Zanala of Zanala is up there, bro. And the cost of housing is too expensive for far too many people. We know that young families need support to raise their children. And I intend on extending a tax cut Dude, for those families of $6,000. Oh, is there was a dab over at TOIT. There was a dab over at TOIT. So that those young <sighs> families can... They took a break, they took a break and there was an emergency dab. I'm just keeping you updated. Dude, the nun my is in full oh, oh, display right now. Wow. The nidderous. The nidderal hood is poking out. Dude, if I could control oh, reality, she would, raise us. We she call would her basically run it down, grab it, and go... Small businesses. <laughs> my plan is to give a $50,000 By the way, if you guys actually want to hear what they're saying in this debate, this is not the place to watch it, just so you know. Full disclosure, don't bitch about that. Mr. President, I do want to drill down on something you both brought up. So now they've both just gone like, it's the Spider-Man meme. Donald yeah. Trump has no plan. No, you. No, Kamala has no plan. No, you have no plan. Also calls for tariffs, as you pointed out here, on foreign imports across the board. You recently said that you might double your plan, imposing tariffs up to 20% on goods coming into this country. As you know, many economists say that with tariffs at that level, costs are then passed on to the consumer. Vice President Harris Probably has true, argued it'll mean higher prices on gas, food, clothing, medication, <laughs> arguing it costs the typical family nearly $4,000 a year. Do you believe America can afford higher prices. This is more boring than I thought it would. Prices, what did you have, expect? Who's going to have higher prices? <laughs> what did you is really China think they were going to come out with Sabres and Dole? They've been ripping us off for years. I charge, I was the only president ever. China was paying us hundreds of billions of dollars, and so were other countries. And, you know, if she doesn't like them, they should have gone out and they should have immediately cut the tariffs. But those tariffs are there three and a half years now under their administration. We are going to take Ooh. in Ooh, you know, hundreds of billions that of dollars. A good point. I had no inflation, Biden, virtually no inflation. No, more tariffs. They had the highest um, inflation like vehicles in the history China. of our Ooh. country. Because so not I've anti -tariff. never seen a worse period of time. People can't go out and buy cereal or bacon or eggs or anything else. I have those things. These, the people of our country oh, are rich, absolutely yeah. dying with what they've boy. done. They've destroyed the economy. They're repeating the same thing over and over again. I repeat you. say... 80 and 85 and even 90% oh, of the economy, 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 economy was terrible. Vice President Harris, I do want to your economy was terrible. No, your economy was terrible. No, your economy was terrible. The Biden administration did keep a number of the Trump tariffs in place. So how do you respond? Well, let's be clear that the Trump administration resulted in a trade deficit, one of the highest we've ever seen in the history of America. He invited trade yeah, wars. Yeah, but how can people, people can't afford bacon, though, no, bitch? China. What he ended <laughs> so what? up doing people is can't have a bacon. The presidency. We kept that shit in there, but on it, yeah, American look, chips. It was all dumb. I remember is people had bacon during Trump, you know? Prove and modernize their military. Trump, there comes Republican Basically again. <laughs> people had bacon, dude. Did China people have bacon? Yeah, people had bacon. Ain't no bacon no more, motherfuckers. You can't get no bacon in no motherfucking store these days. Did people have bacon during Trump? 
requires. Stop focusing yelling at the mic, on relationships TJ? with our allies, right. focusing on investing Sorry. in American-based technology, <laughs> 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 oh, on AI, <laughs> on quantum computing, focusing on Ooh, what we need computing. to do I like to that. support Ooh, America's workforce. Look, I will so make bacon so cheap. She did the giving bacon away. When I'm president, bacon will be free. Bacon will be free to every American citizen. I am not a communist, but I love free bacon. Is he actually thanked President Xi for what right. he did They're during COVID? They're both getting Look a little bit more tweet. hype now. That's Thank good. you, President Xi! Exclamation point. When we he know loves the that Chinese. she was responsible well, yeah. for lacking and nah, not giving us Chinese. transparency about the origins of COVID. Why don't you bend over and take COVID. that Chinaman up your ass, Trump? First of all, they bought oh, I'm sorry, I'm from Taiwan. We hardly make chips anymore because of uh, philosophies like they have and policies like they have. I don't say her because she has no policies. Everything that she believed three years ago and four years ago uh, is out the window. She's flip going flip. to my philosophy go. now. In fact, I was going to send her a MAGA hat. She's gone to my philosophy. Oh, he's going to do the tip thing. If she ever got elected, she'd change it. And no? it okay. will be the end of our country. She's a Marxist. Everybody knows she's a Marxist. Her True. Father, she's a Marxist <laughs> professor. She is not a Marxist. She's a Marxist. He taught her well. But <laughs> when you look at what she's done to our country, and when you does look Trump at these other countries millions pay and millions I think he does, of people yeah. that are pouring <laughs> into our country sure monthly, that. where it's, yeah, I'm I believe, sure. 21 million people. I think, people, they, they, not I think the he thinks what, it's like a tax say, on the other countries. it's a lot higher than the 21. That's bigger than New York State pouring in. And just look at what they're doing to our country. They're eating our cats. These people coming in. That's why you can't get bacon. And yeah, that's the they have illegal alien gets too. bacon you know, before you. Before we'll talk about they haven't gotten to immigration yet, and these people just cannot stop economy. going to immigration. They, they, have, they both are rabid for this immigration. destroyed our country with policy that's Well, they have to have insane. someone to blame. Almost somehow the people who are aren't in our country are somehow destroying it. President you can look at look, the governor of West boy, Virginia, kill the it. previous governor of West Virginia, not the current governor, is doing an excellent job. But the governor they say, before, look, here's the baby, it's he born. The, baby the mom says, I don't want it. And they say, and look, we will you have no choice. No choice. In other words, we'll execute kill it. the baby. And, and I would say that, baby. Because that predominates. Because they're radical. The Democrats are radical. That's just murder, Donald. No one's fucking murdering babies. Which at I the think behest of someone who wants a nine-month abortion. He is really All right, again, this is a fucking news fest with the May, bro. This ain't even going to get spicy. Fun. Is absolutely fine. He also oh, we heard says that. That's not execution true. Execution after they should have had the mics open, dude. They should have been arguing. I hate the fact that going to mute the mics. Okay, that's and that's so not okay stupid. with me. Hence the vote. But what I did is something for 52 years. They've been trying to get Roe v. Wade into the states. We were able to do that. Now, I believe in the exceptions for rape, incest, and life of the mother. I believe strongly in it. Ronald Reagan did also. 85% uh, of Republicans do exceptions. Oh, yeah. Very important. No. There is no state in this country where it is legal to kill a baby after it's born. Madam Vice President. <laughs> President, <laughs> President Trump. They well, did it. I said, you're gonna Look, they did it. I'm, I, I was there. I saw it. I said, stop. And they did it. Fact. And I was like, that's a shame. Let's understand how we got here. Donald Trump hand-selected three members of the United States Supreme Court with the intention that they would undo the protections of Roe v. Wade. And they did exactly as that he was a cold blood in fact. And now in over it 20 really was. states, I think she there fucking has scored the best point bans. of the night so far. Yeah, I think that lady needs to be up on stage running for president. For a doctor or nurse to provide <laughs> health care in one state that that provides dope, prison dude. for life. Yeah, dude. Kamala hasn't had a moment like that all night. No exception, no. even for rape and incest. Which you I think she'll have one before the night's over? Survivor of Maybe. a crime of violence. Like, like let me ask you, T. Uh, what, like, does not right, my call to was this was going to be boring and inconsequential, and so far, Paul's winning. That is immoral. And one does you not think have to be some fight? faith. They'll be a lot. Oh, I hope so, dude. To agree, the government Why does Trump and Donald look so Trump bad? certainly should not be does. telling the world what, what to mean. do. He's aged poorly. Body. He's fat. He's out of shape. Around He's an our orange country. fucking buffoon. You want to talk about expect? this? Is what He's people got a nut wanted? On his fucking chin. Pregnant women. Why does Trump look so bad? Pregnancy to term. Um, suffering from a miscarriage. He's something. Like care. He's three hundred and fifty pounds. Are afraid they might. I don't know, bro. And she's bleeding out in a car. Pick number of. Obviously, he's aged like fucking sour that? milk, dude.
If Donald Trump were to be reelected, he will sign a national abortion ban. Understand, in his He'll Project 2025, there would be a national abortion. A there it is, Project 2025, mention number three. Miscarriages. I think the American the, the, people the Democrats think, really think people care about this Project 2025 shit. The freedom to make decisions. They think they got to in with this, yeah. and nobody fucking cares, bro. Thank you, Vice President. You just start lying about what it contains. It's like, a lie. I'm not saying that. Look, man, it's Project no 2025. Because yeah, Trump's going to murder every wanted. single trans Democrats, person personally. Republicans and everybody. You will see during the course of his rallies, he talks about fictional characters like Hannibal Lecter. He will talk about <laughs> Hannibal, windmills cannibal, cause cancer. Him. And what you will also notice is that people start leaving his rallies early out of exhaustion. They never and left boredom. my rally. <laughs> and I will tell oh, you the shit. one thing you will not Going hear him talk about. Going after the rallies, huh? Is oh, my rallies you will not hear him talk they start about leaving your his needs, rallies your dreams, and your, such a need, and your desires. Fuck. And I'll tell you, I believe you deserve a president who actually puts you first. And I pledge to you that I will. Oh, Vice President you know what? Harris, thank She's you. President Trump, on that point, I want to Amen. give you well, well, like to Let me just ask, though, why did you try to kill that bill? And successfully so, that would have put thousands of additional agents and officers on the board. He's the my dad said it was going to be a good president. It's going to not want a president. Leaving. People don't go to her rallies. There's no reason to go. There's a section on universal health care. She's pressing him in. Better luck next election. And then showing them in a different light. So she can't talk about that. People don't leave my rallies. We have the biggest rallies. They never leave. Rallies they just move. They move that's, all, that's all you get to shoot about. People want yeah. to she fucking country dropped back. that so that he would just respond to that and fucking no, my rallies. She's fucking address the biggest rallies. She, 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 she don't know. And she don't know. He should have pivoted right back to fucking immigration, but she drew blood with that. Rally what they have done to, to our country by allowing these millions and millions of people to come into our country and look at what's happening to the towns all over the United States. And a lot of towns don't want to talk. Tell them what's happening, Trump. Or Springfield. What's a happening A lot of there? towns don't want to talk about it because they're so embarrassed. Oh, my by God. It. Yeah, tell us. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that they're came in. The they're dogs. eating the cats. <laughs> they're, they're eating, eating the dogs. They're they eating food. the pets. They're eating the people pets. that live there. Wow. And this is what's happening. Guys, lock up your dogs. And lock up your cats, dude. If your cat doesn't come home, illegal immigrants eat your fucking little the uh, pussy they cat. Is they like <laughs> I'm getting full cameras tonight. <laughs> I didn't I didn't realize. Dinor might be at someone's uh, dinner poll. Make America great. Dinor sounds like dinor, you know? Oh, shit. She becomes and Dinor, Dinor, like, Ooh, Dinor, Dinor. Success, not only success. They're out there eating Venezuela the dogs. <laughs> They're out there eating the dogs. I just want to clarify here. You bring up Springfield, uh, Ohio, and, and ABC News did reach out to the city manager there. Uh, he told us there have been no credible reports of specific claims of they pets being harmed, injured, or abused by individuals within the. Damn, community. fact I've seen this. people on television. Let me just say here, this is the. I've seen time. people on television. Oh no. Food, so. Maybe he said so that. Maybe basically that could, yeah, tonight, for a city manager, I'm not taking this from these people on television saying the manager. dog was eaten by <laughs> the, the people. The city that manager all over the Dude, city at all times. Come on, the city manager Kamala's says there's no evidence of that. Perfect. 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 I'll let you respond to the rest of what Why you did you say that, Tom? <laughs> you should have said that. No, they're eating dogs, TJ. Look, they're eating dogs. You know, I. This is, I People think, laugh. one of the reasons why in this election, I why can't you be serious, to... bitch? Why can't you be like uh, your insinuation that immigrants are eating dogs is fucking racist? Piece of Bush crap. Drama. <laughs> I don't know, John McCain. Do that. Dude, while he looked down the dog whistle, he's like, the <laughs> they're eating dogs. Dick Fuck dog whistling. And Congress member Liz Cheney. And Whistle if to you the dog to really come here so you can eat it. The inside track on who. The former Dude, you know who's won the most points tonight? Quality. The goddamn moderators, bro. Who have worked yeah. with him. His the moderators have both gotten a dunk on he Trump. He has contempt for the Constitution of the to. United States. His former national security not? advisor has said he, has he is contempt for the Constitution of the United States. States. He's like, yeah. His former what? Secretary of He's Defense like, he did not. said the nation of like, no. would uh, never uh, survive another Trump term. And when we listen to this kind of president that the vice president has reacted to as well. Uh, president Trump, you call this the largest domestic deportation operation in the history of our country. You say you would use the National Guard. You say if things get out of control, you'd have uh, no problem using the U.S. With military. Police, yes. uh, you also said you would use local police. Uh, how would you uh, deport 11 million undocumented immigrants? I know you, you believe that number is, is much higher. Uh, take us through this. What does this look like? Will authorities be going door to door in this country? Yeah, it is much higher because of them. They allowed criminals, many, many millions of criminals, 
They allowed terrorists. They allowed common street criminals. They allowed people to come in, drug dealers, to I'm come into in. our country. And they're now in the United States and told by their countries like Venezuela, don't ever come back or we're going to kill you. Do you know that crime in Venezuela and crime in countries all over the world is way down? Wow. You know why? Because they've taken their criminals off the street and they've given <laughs> them the criminals. for her to put into our Man, country. The country, I figured out, they figured out this every person will be is a one criminal of the and they're like, go. Mistakes in history for go them commit to crime allow. in America and instead. And I think they probably did it because they think they're gonna get votes, but it's not worth it. Because they're, they're crazy, destroying all the, the studies about those communities that they usually commit less done. crimes. There's but never I guess been in this case, they just done like somehow commit more. All. They've destroyed the fabric <clears throat> of our country. You would think the crime rate in our country would be like skyrocketing in. soon. And all over the yeah, world, it's like, remember that 900% increase all in all crime? No, it was crime every time they, the cops show up, it's like, oh, it's another illegal alien. Remember that happened? Crime in this country is through the roof. And we have a new form of crime. It's called migrant crime. And it's happening at levels that uh, nobody thought possible. President Trump, as Every you know, the FBI shows up says Hannibal overall Lecter. violent crime is actually coming down in this country. But Excuse President me, Harris, the FBI I'll defraud. They were defrauding statements. They they didn't include the worst cities. They didn't include the cities with the worst crime. Oh, the it was a, are a lie. fraud. Yeah. Yep. Just like their number of 818,000 jobs that they said they created turned out to be a fraud. President Trump, thank you. I'll let you know. <laughs> <President laughs> oh, we're sorry. Can you please stop talking about it? I want to hear more of their broken promises. Go watch it. It's available for you to go. Dude, if only we had the power to talk over the only broadcast version of this, could you imagine? At least the points that you've made. But in particular, let's talk about fracking. I would just go... Me too, bro. I will not ban fracking. I will not ban fracking as Vice President of the United States. And in fact, I was the tie-breaking vote on the Inflation Reduction Act, which opened new leases for fracking. I My love fracking. Is I that actually we have love got fracking. To I just want to be clear on that. No, uh, I love fracking as more. As fracking goes, so we I am our the frack master. Look, I want liquid we gold for everyone. Liquid gold, TJ. Increase I want liquid gold. No, I want liquid gold. Another in fucking Spider-Man point of each other issue. Because of an approach that recognizes that we cannot over-rely on foreign oil. Work Amen. that is about protecting Social Security and Medicare. Stand up for them vulnerable. based on long-standing work that I have done. I'm going to protect Protecting it. seniors from scams. My values have not changed. And what is important Only my is that there is a have. president who actually values, values Look, and a perspective that is about lifting people up. I was, totally on side of that. Uh, I was wrong. Fracking, I hated that, but now I love it. Down. My positions have changed. Name I'm not this I'm not the this true measure tree. of the leader. My values never change, is the TJ. Leader who actually understands the strength is not in beating people down, it's in lifting people up. Yeah. I intend oh, to be yeah. that wow. president. Beat president down Trump bad. Well, first of all, I wasn't given four hundred. She went out in Minnesota and wanted to let criminals that killed people, that burned down Minneapolis. She went out and raised money to get them out of jail. She wow. did things that nobody would ever think of. Now she wants to do yeah, transgender I, help operations a bunch of criminals. Illegal Give me a fucking break, prison. dude. This is a radical left liberal transgender that operations would do this. Illegal she wants to confiscate your guns, no. and she will never allow fracking yeah. in Pennsylvania. If she won the election, fracking in Pennsylvania will end on day one. Just to <laughs> <laughs> no, it won't. Come on, bro. <laughs> So it don't matter who wins. Frack and I'm stopping like anytime soon. Frack, baby, frack, they took, boy. When they took over, they got rid of it, started getting rid of it, and the prices were going up. It's actually Ooh, kind of smart for him to get her to defend fracking because – he knows it's not going to engender any support in actual leftists for her, which she about three and a half years ago. They got it up completely. Where I was, because yeah, they had no choice, true. because the prices of they love energy it in were, were quadrupling and doubling. You saw what happened to gasoline. <laughs> so they said, "Let's go." Well, the areas that are economically going to benefit, the election, of course, they love fracking. The day fracking. after that election. They'll go back to destroying our country, and oil will be dead. Fossil fuel will be dead. We'll go back to windmills, and we'll go back to solar, where they can the desert to get some energy to come Horse out. And buggy. You ever see a solar plant? By the way, I'm a big fan of solar. The Capitol, you said you would be right there with them. Uh, the country and the world saw what played out of the Capitol that day, the officers coming under attack. Aides in the West Wing say you watched it unfold on television off the Oval Office. Um, uh, looking so far in the day, I never hear about this hours fucking event you again. Out that video message uh, telling your supporters to go home this is um is there anything you regret about what terrible. you did on that day you just said a thing that isn't covered peacefully and patriotically i said during my speech not later on 
peacefully and patriotically. And nobody on the other side was killed. Ashley Babbitt was shot by an out of control police officer that should have never, ever shot her. What was she doing? It's a disgrace. She just but was walking around and they scapped her? People Minding that, her own business. I asked, yeah. What about all the people just that are her own killing people? Seize that, that, that woman and kill her. her. She was the kill that random that. woman. Hello, human. I'm Nug. You will subscribe and become a Pessimist Productions patron. Witness live streams of Onion Nuggets every week. New Deep Fat Fied episodes every Saturday. Other shows include Abandoned Hope, Hideology, You're Wrong, Fighting Boys, and more. Click the link. Feed the garden. Question. You were the president. You were watching it unfold on television. It's a very simple question as we move forward toward another election. Is there anything you regret about what you did no. on that day? I'm perfect. Yes, sir. I had nothing to do with that other than they asked me to make a speech. I showed up for a speech. I said, I think it's going to be big. And they they asked, asked me to make a speech. Oh, I didn't want to. And the oh, I wasn't even going to make a speech. You really wanted to do it. Peacefully and patriotically walk over the Capitol and say, stop it. And again, Stop. it wasn't done that's by what me, they did. it was done by others. That's some crazy said, Antifa I'd people like showed up and tried to kill everyone. I'd National Guard or soldiers. They rejected me. Nancy Pelosi rejected me. It was just two weeks ago. Her daughter has a tape of her saying she is fully responsible for what happened. They want to get rid of that tape. It would have never happened if Nancy Pelosi and the mayor of Washington did their jobs. I wasn't responsible for security. Nancy Pelosi was responsible. She didn't do her job. The question was yeah, your about mom you as president, that showed up had nothing to do with Pelosi, you. But I do right. want Vice President Harris you to respond. You made a speech telling them to fight like hell. You mean the, I was at the patriotic I people that I was the happened to be at his that. speech that he wasn't even really feeling like giving that day, Scotty? Yeah, all and right. on that day, <laughs> That's what happened. the president of the United States... People should never be thinking about it. An election is fraudulent. We need two things. We need walls. We need... And we have to have it. We have to have borders, and we have to have good elections. Clean walls. Our elections what are going to do for us. And a lot of these illegal TJ, we need walls in this in, country. They're trying to get them to vote. They can't even speak English. Like they don't even know what country they're in practically. And these people are trying Border to get them to vote. Border patrol is not phenomenal, and, and agents have been known to help criminal to smuggle drugs and people in the country. I just watched all these pieces of video. You How dare you say that? So wrong. We should just brave men and women. You know this. We need a big, beautiful wall and big. Many judges, many of them no judge looked at it and said they said no we didn't have standing. Uh, That's the other thing. They said we didn't have standing, a technicality. Can you imagine a system? <laughs> not a technicality. Where a person and not a having standing is kind of like not a technicality. We didn't have a case, so we if didn't win. It's a technicality. We had no that. evidence of our position. It was a technicality. All right. I'll show you Pennsylvania, and I'll show you. We have so many facts and statistics, but you know what? That doesn't matter because we have to solve yeah, the problem you that win. we have right now. That's win, old bro. news. Sorry, the problem that we win. have right now is we have a nation in decline, and they have put it into decline. We have a nation Why that is dying, David. Why does it keep referring to Thank you. The uh, nation is dying. Uh, you heard the president. Because he wants, to, he, want, he's, he, he wants to keep her uh, under Biden's shadow. The election. Got it. Uh, that was so won by President Biden. Everything she does is so, her and Biden. But I do want to That's probably wise. That president Biden has not been able to break through the stalemate. How would you do it? Well, let's understand how we got here. On October 7th. Hamas, oh, here we a go. terrorist organization. Right. First, let me suck some Israel dick for you. Let me condemn Hamas. Many of them young people who were simply attending a concert. <laughs> Women were horribly raped. So absolutely, I said then, I say now, Israel has a right to defend itself. We would. Israel, your dick is so bad. And how it does so <laughs> Because it is oh, also true, far too many innocent Palestinians have been killed. Fucked up. Children, dickhead. mothers. Come what on. we know is that the people, the piece this war of shit must end. end. <laughs> it must win, end immediately. And the way it will end is we need a ceasefire deal and we need the hostages out and so we will continue way, to work around the clock on that we'll work around the, the clock thing. also understanding that we mm. must chart a course for a two-state solution
And in that solution, there must be security for the Israeli people and Israel and in equal measure for the Palestinians. But the one thing I will assure you always, I will always give Israel the ability to defend itself and any but we must have a two-state solution where we can rebuild Gaza, where the Palestinians have security, self-determination, and the dignity they so rightly deserve. Rebuild Gaza to be populated by whom? Negotiate with Netanyahu Dead people. and also Hamas in order to get the hostages out. Israeli Remember, settlers is the, is is the right answer. If I were president, it would have never started. If I were president, Russia would have never Ever, I know Putin very well. And he would have no, never, and there was no threat even of it either, about by it. Way, for four years, have gone into Ukraine and killed never millions it. of people when you ate it up. Far worse than people understand what's going on over there. I would have said, but don't even think about Putin about and he would have been okay. Israel, You're sudden, right, Donald. I will. She hates Israel. She wouldn't even meet with Netanyahu when he went to Congress to make a very important speech. Wow. She refused to be there because she True. was at a sorority party of hers. She wanted that, to go to that sorority speech party. by Netanyahu was she very important. Israel. If she's president, I believe that Israel will not exist within two years from now. And I've been pretty good at predictions. <laughs> on that, on the yeah, two years. She hates Israel. At the same time, in her what? own way, she hates the, the Arab population. Because she hates them the too. Whole oh, yeah, she hates them all. She hates everybody. Up. Arabs, nobody good. Jewish people, Israel, Israel will be gone. It would have never happened. Iran Israel was be broke fucking under gone. Donald Damn, Trump. Dude. Now Iran has $300 billion Iran. because they took off all the sanctions that I had. Iran had no money mm. for Hamas or Hezbollah or any of the 28 wow. different They're broke, dude. Uh, spheres Bill Biden of said, terror. here you go, funnel this money into more wars. Terror. Attack terror. Israel. They had no money. It was Day a big one, story. And you know, it. you covered gun, it very well, two actually. Years in they Israel, had no money gun. for terror. They were she broke. The, now they're a rich she nation. Hates the Arabs. Now, Four years, what TJ, they're doing America is they're gone. spreading that money she around. Hates them all. Look at what's happening with the Houthis Trump, though, and Yemen. Two Look years, at what's Israel going on doubles in the Middle East. In size. This would have America never happened. In size. I will get that settled and fast. We're all I'll get the war pumping so much with oil Ukraine and liquid gold. And well, rich. Ended. You're rich. I'm if rich. I'm president elect, Every guy you know is rich, TJ. Before even becoming president. Vice President Harris, he says you hate Israel. Uh, that's absolutely not true. I it. have my entire career and life supported Israel and the Israeli people. No, he knows I love that. Israel more. He's no, trying I love to Israel again more. divide. I don't think this is going to move the needle all that much in terms of national politics if it shapes up looking like this. Like, I don't really see anyone changing sides over either of these performances. So uh, I think you're pretty much, uh, pretty much going to be looking at a tight race moving forward. I don't it's think Kamala's be, Kamala Kamala ain't cleaning his clock enough to get anyone jumping over. He ain't cleaning her clock enough to get anyone jumping over. They're just getting little jabs in on each other here and there, for the most part. Just saying, I mean, giving exactly the performance you'd expect him to give. So, pretty tepid, pretty boring. Yeah, bowl of gruel for America. No fire. Kamala, do you remember anything about that one time she came out and just ripped up the stage? Yeah. I remember. I don't. I just remember it happened. She went after Joe Biden with the busing thing. And that was where her famous little, like, that girl was me. And she, and she saw a huge pole jump after that. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, and I mean, we're not seeing... I've seen Kamala do much worse in debates than she's doing here. She seems pretty prepared, but she doesn't, she just doesn't have the, the killer instinct. Like she's okay at knowing when to recite her little memorized lines, but she doesn't have that instinct to just viciously pounce on something and be like, you're a liar. Like that, uh, the best dig of the night. The only thing I could even say approaches like a solid, like, uh, Ponage. Yeah, it would be what the moderator did when she's just like, there's no state where a person, where someone can, is allowed to kill a baby after it's born. And just matter of factly, and then just moved on. Like, all right, wrong, yeah. next. You know, that was the best ponage of the night. And uh, we haven't really seen either of these candidates deliver anything like that. 
just like, yeah, she's bad and Israel will be gone in two years if she's elected and fracking will be gone on day one. And she's just like, he is a bad person and he's a monster and he's going to destroy democracy and we need to move forward. It's like, all right. Same old, same old from both these. I saw people on the television, Scotty, and they were saying that immigrants were eating their dogs, <laughs> Scotty. NBC News Now. We were back. Yeah. Yeah. Diet. What, what, what kind of dog, dog, dog was it? Was it tasty? Didn't they think uh, RFK ate a dog? <laughs> yeah. didn't, didn't the guy that almost, that almost certainly did eat a dog endorse the guy? Well, he said it was a goat. <laughs> Whatever. Oh. He said he ate a Dog, dude, dude rfk dog. is so weird you know he endorsed right trump endorsed and then yeah. like he i saw a video of his today and he was like and lindsey davis he was like welcome back to this historic the reason you got to get donald trump elected continue here and i want to turn to the, the only thing that gets me close to power into this conflict, Mr. <laughs> Wait, first one. <laughs> the Biden okay, about right. We must defend oh, Ukraine from Russia. Hey, Don't kid yourself, David. How's We're Biden doing? World War uh, that's all good, and we though. have a president that we don't even know if he's. Where is our president? No, nah, the teeth things. Not happening. They right threw him out of a campaign. I don't see any evidence of it. Many teeth slipping out. We have a president, Mr. President, that doesn't know he's alive. Your time. I love you it. believe it's true. It's in the best no, interest he's alive. for Ukraine to win this is war. He alive? Yes, I think is he it's the U.S. best interest to get this war finished and f just get it done. <laughs> right. Negotiate a deal because we have to stop all of these human lives from being destroyed. I want to take this to I Vice President Harris. I love human lives. Human support for Humans Ukraine good. in this Human moment. lives also, must be saved. In chief, if elected, how would you deal with Vladimir Putin? And would it be any different from what we're seeing from President Biden? Well, he first of all, he's alive, bro. The former president, you're not running against <laughs> him. I dead. No, Joe, you're still the president. Dude, I, think, uh, I think we're just Respected envious of Russia. World that leaders. And this former president, as what president, was, invited them <laughs> this to Camp David. Piece of shit yeah, would have been cool. Was not was be. This is orange f***ing here. And, and responsibility. Dumb on of the president of the oath. United States to be commander in chief with a level of respect. And this gets back to the point of how he has consistently disparaged and demeaned Trump is like members a of Gary our military, Stu character from one of fallen Brett's soldiers, books, and Kamala and the is work that we Kamala. must do to yeah. uphold the strength Trent Dude, you, no. of the United States of America around Keen the world. Because if wrote a Vice fucking Harris, presidential you, debate scene in his book, to her saying that you began the negotiation. <laughs> I can't yeah, even fucking imagine so, how insipid the political if you questions take a look at that period of time, and answers would be. The Taliban was killing Ugh. our soldiers, a lot of them, with snipers. A lot of them. Look, and I got really. involved with the Taliban. I want to move and on. these people. I want to move on. Oh, we all do. And, and we all do. Yeah. Can we move? Can the, the country we really move on? The whole country, country would like to move way, on. Can we yes. just like Russia gong them both and just put Ukraine people up there that are actually decent? Because they saw how decent. incompetent she do that. <laughs> and her boss are. President Trump, thank you. Why do you believe it's appropriate to weigh in on the racial identity of your opponent? I don't, and I don't care. I don't care what she is. I don't care. Uh, you make a big deal out of something. I couldn't care less. <laughs> Whatever she wants to be is okay with me. But those were your words. So I'm I asking. don't know. I don't know. I mean, all I can say is I read I don't know. News, not black that she put out and I'll say that. And then I read that she was black and that's okay. Either one was okay with me. That's up to her. That's Vice, up to her. Vice President Harris, your thoughts on that this? was the worst answer I've well, ever I heard in my I mean, honestly, life. I mean, honestly, that was a that is that we blue ribbon bad answer right there. <laughs> yeah. Donald, you get the worst answer of the debate award. <laughs> that <laughs> may be <laughs> the worst <laughs> answer to an to easy question people. ever given in you a know, debate. I do believe that the vast majority of us know that we have that was wild. what separates us, and we don't want. I guess you could be black if you want. I mean, if you want to be black, I don't know. Especially by race. Whatever she is, is fine with me. He was you can be yellow or brown or black. He just come out and support a trans He owned buildings. I really don't know, dude. I think he did, dude. He was that one, I think. Based on all, dude. You can be any race, any gender, anything you want to be. Let's remember, this is the same individual. Based on it. Was it accidentally the best answer? I don't know. Five young Black and Latino. I always wanted to be a black man. We're innocent. The central Accidentally part five. based, Donald. 
Trump's answers have gotten more people. meandering and, and meaningless as the night has progressed. Different plans. Dude, we the night, the, the last eight years of my life. Our people, our I know, but like, it's gotten really bad towards the end of this shit. Than Obamacare, He's just than rambling at this point. Maybe sundowning a little bit or something? Yeah, I think it's happening. Just a yes or no, you still do not have a plan. I have concepts of a plan. <laughs> I'm not president right now. <laughs> but if, if you come up with yeah, yeah. I would only I change if you come up with something that's better than my projects. I have several projects in various states of creative development that I have to do that. I will see you in the next one. I have to do this. I have to do this. I have a storyboard for a teacher. I have a storyboard for a teacher. I have a storyboard of my plan. It's going to be a great plan. Oh my god! I've got concepts. Well, first of all, all concept a, a support and over the last I cannot get the release of concept out of my health care plan. What we need to do is maintain and grow the Affordable Care Act. Oh, Act. man, that's my <laughs> president right there, baby. Concept all the way, I've made very clear my position on fracking. And then this business about taking everyone's guns away. Concepts of a plan. Oh, my God. Whoa, Kamala's a gun owner? Oh, shit, Kamala's packing? As no, I bought a gun right now. Like, like, understand. You think I want to take away people's look guns? Look at this, bitch. I got stand. a big ass gun. When I'm strapped right president. now. 60 times he tried to get rid of the affordable All right, Donald, care. where's your big ass gun? Uh, uh, well, uh, I was a senator. Uh, uh, I must have left it back the time. Uh, and they think they're going to uh, sell the cars in Africa, into the United China, States because of Russia. these people. What they have they're given to China is unbelievable. But we're not going to let them. We'll put tariffs on those cars so they can't come into our country because they will kill the United Auto Workers and any auto worker, whether it's in Detroit or South Carolina, don't kill or any, any auto worker. They've done. Okay, I guess we better put the tariffs on. going to kill every auto worker. Is Jesus. horrible. We have nothing because they they refuse. Those Chinese cars. You know, Biden doesn't go they'll after people. That, they'll take every China American auto worker. Call, they'll kill them. He's afraid to do it. Between They're going to kill the workers. They get all this. Kill every last one of us eventually. They get all this money from all of these different countries. They say you get it on the road. Why is he it just so has a database of everyone who's ever worked Ukraine, in the American China. auto industry and it's like why is he, destroy. Why did he get three and a half million dollars from the mayor of Moscow's wife? Why did he get? Why did she pay him three and a half million dollars? This is a crooked administration, and they're selling our country down the tubes. President Trump, thank you. I think you've heard tonight two very <laughs> different <laughs> visions for our country. One that is focused on the future, and the other that is focused on the past, and an attempt to take us backward. That's not even what I heard. But we're not going they, back. Whatever. And I do believe. I heard, I heard something yeah, way crazier yeah, than that. I know. I heard something. <laughs> what I heard was a vision for the new way forward. I don't know. And to, it, to get us next it's five like minutes, maybe, and then a vision for understanding insanity. the aspirations. Yeah, dude. I heard the, the beginnings of a vision. You know, I heard the concept of a vision. Yeah, the concept of a vision. I heard the economy. Let's investing I heard basically in like small status quo. In new that I heard. Russia, China, then I'm like, what? Hardworking folks of break and bringing down the cost of living. I believe in what we can do together. Me too. That is about oh, yeah. sustaining the president in the world and ensuring that we have the respect not just that we so rightly but deserve, every including single including America. respecting our military and ensuring we have the most lethal fighting force in Whoa, the world. Whoa, I like that. I will lethal. be yes, the president lethal. that will protect lethal our fundamental fighting. rights and freedoms, oh, including yes. the right of a woman to make yes. decisions fascism. about them her own fascism body is what we and not want have her government tell her what to do. Who will be the bigger fascist? I'll tell you, I started my career as a prosecutor. Peter, I was the yes. DA. I was an attorney general. You know, hey, no, you about your vice Let's see if I've only had one client, now. the people. And I'll it's tell like you, as devil? a prosecutor, I like never a asked. Devil. That one does have more of a nuggy vibe. Or it does. It's closer to the nug vibe, for sure. The only thing I ever asked them, are you It's like them, extending its pinky okay? while it drinks some tea. And yeah. that's the kind of president we need right now. Someone who cares about you and is not putting themselves first. I Amen. intend to be oh, president shit. for all Americans. I am not going to sell America out on like what Donald we Trump will. I got super short. 20 years to oh, shit. Build your back chair up fucking our dying? country by investing right now in no, the American people. My heel people. accidentally clipped Vice President the Harris, thing thank you. Today. President Trump. Thank you for that nonsense. So she just started by saying she's going to do this, she's going to do that, she's yeah. going to do all these wonderful hasn't things. Hasn't done a thing. Why hasn't she done it? She's been there for three and a half years. That's a great question, Dolph. I have to 
to commend him for that yeah. one. Had three and a half years. What have you guys been doing there? Create jobs and all the things we talked about. Why hasn't she done it? She should leave right now, go down to that beautiful White House, go to the Capitol, get everyone together and do the things you want to do, but you haven't done it and you won't do it because you believe in things that the American people don't believe in. You believe in mm -hmm. things like Communism. we're not going to frack. We're not going to take fossil fuel. We're not going to do things that are going to make this country strong, whether you like it or not. Germany tried <laughs> that. Frack and within one year, they were back to building Love it. normal energy plants. <laughs> we're not ready for it. Yeah. Yeah, Germany tried that. And they're like one day later, like we're wrong. For the sake of bad vision. But I just ask one simple question. Why didn't she do it? We're a failing nation. Yeah. We're a nation that's in serious decline. That's We're being obvious. laughed at all over the world. Yep, all over the you're... world, they laugh. I know the mm, leaders. Yeah, they're, they're laughing they right now. They are. They a lot of them. those jokes <laughs> laughed at are about a certain world. orange person. What happened too. to us as a nation? We're not a leader. Oh. We don't have any idea what's going on. Uh -huh. We have wars going on in the Middle East. We have wars going on with Russia and Ukraine. Uh -huh. We're going to end up in a third world war, and it'll be a war like no other because of nuclear war. Okay. Okay. weapons the power of weaponry i rebuilt our entire military she gave a lot of it away to the taliban she gave it to afghanistan what these people have done to our country <laughs> and maybe toughest of all is, is the taliban do you want high people to high come into our country weaponry? many of them are criminals says, yes, okay destroying our country the worst he is president rambling the worst i mean like why is this even the closing the speech just a country. rambling and that is our okay. ABC News presidential debate wow, that, here in Philadelphia at the National something. Constitution Good job. Center. Damn. Good that job, America. Let's, You've uh, done it. Uh, now we, I think we're going to stick around for a little bit to see the uh, yeah, Uber Sweat sure. Index. Yeah, let's see how Jake well, is see, doing. This is the problem is like they've planned it out to where they're going live, right? Like, well, right. He's going to. Right. He's going to be up. freshly dabbed when he goes live here. Mm. But we'll know if he's, okay, look, the theatrics, if he's hysterical, you know, is he going to come out saying that, that it was a dunk? I mean, like, you, we'll, we'll be able to read his body well, language, I feel. I can, I, can give you, I can give you some of that now. He's already, he has said that this was a dunk. Okay. okay. Uh, here, let me read you some Chank tweets while we're Chank waiting. Chank tweets. They have not what gone. What is Kyle Kalinske saying? I'll find what Kyle's saying yeah, while you Paul find is doing that. Yeah, Chank says uh, Kamala is smoking him. She goaded him into being who he really is, a sweaty tooth madman. Ah, dude, the sweaty comic come from Chank is rich. You gotta he that. has no discipline. He can't help himself. Every response of his now includes a conspiracy theory. She's walking him right into all his worst impulses. I uh, pretty much agree with that assessment, honestly. But Do you? Yeah, I think that's actually pretty accurate for me. I mean, yeah, but what, what do you what do you think is wrong with it? I mean, that there was any intentionality by that, like yeah, that were, I, that I don't, don't know. I feel like she like that she deserves any credit for it. Like I think she does do because anyway. here I'll tell you why I think she does because I think that's why she kept doing little jabs about like arena sizes and how he inherited the money and all that. I think all that stuff was just to like kind of go to go that kind of out of him you know get his ego but that was already seething out of every pore in him from the start and True. always was gonna be i just don't i don't know i don't think it's that big of a win like oh we we made Donald Trump be mad and weird. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Uh, Maybe it's just all right. So Kyle Kalinsky has got a just meme. tweeted this. Kyle Kalinsky tweeted a meme where it's uh, Trump as a grandpa or something. Trump, Trump is like a grandma, that, and she's like they're eating the dogs and cats. And then Kamala said, "Okay, grandma, let's get you to court." And then he's got one. I mean, Kyle's uh, Kyle's just he's doing the DNC thing. Yeah, he's he's, he's see, Trump right is now. desperate to attack Kamala. He just repeats insane lies about her. He atta his attacks on Hillary often landed because there was a grain of truth in them. He flopped so hard. It's his biggest debate loss so, I've seen. Yeah, it's basically like, I mean, Kyle Clancy has just scored a touchdown, dude, and he's doing a celebration dance. Yeah, it's all, it's basically the same thing you're getting over at uh, Chunks uh, Twitter. All right, here you go. He just went live. Ooh, okay. Let's see him. And he's not very freshly dabbed. It's no. a little slick still, but not, it's a shimmer, not a sheen. He's not drenched. He's not drenched. So can we hear him? Yeah, let's hear how. Uh, yes, let's, let's hear see. how upset he is between uh, Kamala Harris oh. Oh. and uh, did, uh, <laughs> Kamala Harris made a curious decision. That's cool. instead of the debate. 
But to be fair, it turns out she had someone to dog walk. Uh, she annihilated him. It was a home run, uh, huge relief. So it, it didn't start out that way. In the beginning, it started out as relatively normal. Donald Trump actually gave a couple of good answers. I was a little bit worried, and I was like, whoa, is he going to stay under control? And then she dug under his skin. And the minute she I'm did seeing that, a fucking chain he here, was guys. a goner. For sure. Well, I'm seeing a well, not only that, but I don't believe, like, if you look at this excitement he's portraying, it never He's wearing a different shirt again, by the there's way. There's no he excitement. He was wearing a blue shirt before. Yep, he changed out one. of his blue shirt into a white shirt, so there's been a shirt change. There has sure. been, yeah. There's, Guaranteed, because we saw earlier. There's the words, but there's nothing behind it, dude. It's like, yeah, oh, yeah, she f dominated. It's like, but there's no enthusiasm. It's like this he's... Yeah, this excitement in his voice never reaches his eyes. His eyes are glassy and hollow and haunted. Oh, yeah. And look, dude, the sweat index doesn't lie. That is a damp forehead. That is damp, dude. I think you just now Reddit is circling, circle jerking over how fire Kamala was tonight. Of course. I mean, th that the, the mainstream narrative and, is going to be Kamala dunked. It's going to be the. F I mean, look, it, this is a debate. The way it panned out, the Trumpies are going to say Trump dommed. The f uh, red, the blue magas are going to say f Kamala dommed. Yeah, you can argue about who won, but I can tell you who lost. The American people lost. I can just tell you, we you know. Found Lost bad for where I'm sitting. It was, I mean, like Scotty said earlier, status quo versus crazy, and that's basically all I wanted to status quo versus crazy status quo. <laughs> yeah, basically, dude. So. And the status quo is already crazy. Yeah, this it's type been of normalized for us. So. When people watch something like we just watched, and I know the critics would say, Oh, you guys talked through it. What did you even watch? It's like, dude, I've been watching these debates enough to know where the energy is shifting and shit sure and for anybody uh, that considers themselves like a journalist or a politics wonk to say that this was a dog walk of kamala harris against trump is just being like it's more wishful thinking they're it's hoping just, to, it's just hyper partisan shit they're, well they're, what they're trying to do is they're trying to salvage some of that coconut mommy milk energy from when she announced mm-hmm mm -hmm. And it's because that has drained out. The energy has drained right the fuck out. I mean, yeah, the the balloon just went whoop, it filled but up and then it's what's the sound bite? Like what is the if she pwned his ass, what is the sound bite? Let me let's see what they're playing here. I just want to clarify here. You bring up Springfield, uh, Ohio, and, and oh, ABC News did channel. reach out to the city manager there. Uh, he told him So this is the dog walk? Yeah. The dog walk is when the moderators pwned him by fact checking him. See, this is what I'm <laughs> talking about. This type of like hyperbolic, overblown. No oh, she did great. She did wonderful. It just reeks of cope. The changed shirt. He was in a blue shirt earlier. Now he's in a white shirt. So he sweat himself through a shirt. He comes on. He goes live. Full sheen. Full sheen. Look at this. See what I mean? Look, look, that so wait a minute. He says she pwned him. Mm -hmm. And the first bit they play is him getting fact checked by the moderator. That's not her pwnage. The moderator pwned him. Yeah, but the it's, narrative that, it's thin gruel, of course. The narrative it, it, that uh, Chunk's going with is that she goaded all that shit out yeah, of Yeah, she forced it out of donald like Which i think i think she kind of did somewhat but it's not really i, think, I mean it's like if you listen to donald Trump's it's like when you it's like if you uh, get banned from paul's ego's ideology stream it's like yeah right like you how did hard it. is it to goad me into it's that. not really that hard to go exactly into, you know. yeah come on it doesn't yeah. exactly take you know, if you watch I, I, Trump I talk for an hour he's gonna ramble i don't even need goading to do that i'm gonna do it anyway like that's the thing that's the point i'm making is that like Giving her props because Trump was a weird, loud, rambling, sweaty idiot is like, I don't know. Did she give birth to him and raise him to be that way? Because otherwise, I don't know how you're giving her props. Yeah. Um, I, it was basically, I, I feel like it was exactly what I said it was going to be when I, we started. I think she was. Look at a hot ass Anna, though. I, was, frustrated I think she was uh, ultra polished and rehearsed party. and probably overly so. And uh, she gave very standard generic answers uh, there's she a did. lot of nervousness in her there's a lot of points where she, she delivered like, it just fine i mean she's always got that that her her energy is always just kind of like this warbly she's all over the place like some emotional 
she, revelation. She seemed shit. lost at times. I mean, does she just benefits from being against someone who's even more lost? You know, so it's like it, it's basically she looks better in comparison. That's all. I mean, that's all you can really say. That the the biggest positive for Kamala is the fact that Donald just is out of his mind. He's sweaty. He's old. He has a giant nut. He just looks weird. He is weird. You know, like that's the best. He's rambling about dogs being eaten. You know, he, yeah, shit. he's rambling about dog so it's like when you look at those and you just have a visual element there it's like i think that's what benefits her more than anything it's like she just doesn't look back bad shit and trump kind of looked bad shit. i mean like the beginning of the debate he wasn't even opening his eyes he was like this yeah he was asleep well they gave him that big experimental shot right before the debate <laughs> it didn't yeah, kick right. in and then when it did kick in he started going like he got weird dude i think they maybe shouldn't have given him that <laughs> or maybe like uh, half I mean, the dose i don't know this shit is going to be th there will be two days of camp based cope stroking about this right the dems will be saying how she dog walked him yeah republicans will say how he left her speeches speechless and flabbergasted and she was a weird giggling smiling weirdo and then two three days from now nobody's going to be discussing this debate and it won't change a single thing about the polling situation um so, i would be surprised if this moved the polls this is not this isn't going to move the polls an inch in either direction nobody had that moment you know what i'm talking about when i say that yeah. moment i didn't see it well like the last where, day where maybe, was maybe like, you know maybe we talked over it and missed it but i did no, not see that when, big oh when we snap. watched the first debate with biden and trump like the fact that biden was lost we just knew it was like okay this is no way there's no if if if, if, if biden is the candidate in november then Trump wins. We just knew at that point. This one so, just doesn't really feel like you're right. The needle hasn't moved enough in either direction where it's like okay, this is not me. This is not moving the needle anywhere. Um, there is going to be a mega social media cope stroke on both sides where they claim victory for their candidate and explain a bunch of biased reasons why. And then, like I said, I give it two, three days max, and nobody's going to talk about this debate ever again. This is one I of the more be... boring debates of recent memory, honestly. Yeah, I would be very deeply surprised if this moved the needle at all. But I mean, yeah, obviously we'll keep it. We'll I keep think looking at the polls. And I shit. think if I was going to, I think if it does move the needle, it might move it a little bit towards Kamala, but I don't think it's going to move the needle. Nah. A zero point one bump, you know? I, mean? I, I okay, would say maybe. at the most, the most I would be willing to venture would be like half a point maybe not a i mean even if it was that that's uh, that's you know still a margin of error like it'd have to be like two points or a point yeah, it has to be something I mean, it, yeah. when you when you talk to democrats when they're not in one of these tight races they will tell you dems need to be up when you're talking swing states when you're talking close ass 50 50 swing states mm -hmm. dems need to be up by five points going into the election to have a chance yeah she doesn't have five points on him in a single swing state yeah maybe nevada I think she's going to win, but I don't know. I think it's going to be tight electoral. I don't know, man. The one stop coconut milk curdles a little more in your mouth, TJ, and you have to pretend to care for another month and a half. Whether, I mean, whether I care or not, I do kind of have just the intuitive feeling of her victory. But oh, really? Okay. Like, oh. You know, you're just talking about like, um, like the universe has spoken to you. Yeah, like China. I mean, I don't know. It's like you ever get a gut feeling about the results of a f election? You just kind of like look at it. Like usually, I get I a know. gut feeling after eating Taco Bell yeah, that I'm going to take true. a big fibery shit. DJ, come on, yeah. shall we? Harris is calling like, huh? for another debate. Who? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> the universe, DJ. <laughs> it's shit. your intuition, DJ. <laughs> Sure. I always prefer that over I, uh, someone pretending they know. I mean, look, you can study, you know, charts and precedent and all that shit. It doesn't really mean anything. It's kind of like people walking lying up, polls. You know what, TJ? I'll, I'll give you an analogy you like. It's like walking up to the roulette wheel, dude. It's like exactly. What? That's exactly what it was like. TJ's, this is TJ's gambler's fallacy brain in action right There's here. No I, have, I, I got a, I got a hunch that red is the I'm all in could on be red. red. Man. I mean, really, it could be at, red. At the end of the day. Could be black too, though. I mean, hunches are all you have too. You're just post hoc justifying your yours with nonsense. Like I'm at least admitting it's a hunch. Yeah. <laughs> how you figure? How you figure that? So when I'm right, I point out how I was right. Well, I mean, look, we'll see if you're right. <laughs> but I mean, when I've been right in the we past, won't know who's right been, until uh, you know, after the election. Right, well, I think when I've been right. When I've been right, I think there needs to be a bet, dude. I think are you to, right about this? I think there needs to be a bet, man. I think you guys need to put your money where your 
mouth is consistent shot that correctness, vengeance. consistent correctness. And that's I mean, post hoc justification. But your you're justification not, you're not, is, but you're not correct about this. I heard the whisper. Well, no one knows who's correct about this right now. Well, let's I see. Heard the, the, well, let's TJ went with some money then. TJ heard that the money. whisper of intuition. So he's uh-huh. probably correct. You know, exactly. I mean, that's definitely like Don't never let the power. mankind to stray ever. All right, well, Nobody's ever broken their dick off in a car door for intuition's sake. Let's put, you know uh, I mean? let's put some money on it, though, huh? I mean, why you always got to put money, money on, on this? Why don't uh, we put a no confidence in your position? How about this? You glaze no the f- out you of me when I'm a... right. You glaze right. the f- out of me when I'm right. And you admit that I'm a f- shrewd political observer who's been right. way more I mean, yeah, correct sure. than I am. Right. Yeah, other shit Damn. can be besides money. Okay. Boom. I'll do that. All right, what do you but want? But if I win, you got to admit. Win, all you have to say, I don't even, I don't even need a glaze. And all I need you to do is say, TJ, your intuition was f- spot on. Yeah, okay. and, and I tell you what, the next time you feel the the desire to go put your whole paycheck down on black, do it, bud. Your right. gambler's fallacy has been titillated yet again because the ball landed on black. Amen. But I'll but tell you. Okay, but is that ball going to land on bag. black? There we go. Shake will. hands. Shake. I mean, look, it's literally this election is literally roulette. I mean, think about it. It's black Did versus orange. Handshake. Black versus orange. Okay. There we go. Oh, you guys have seen it. Has been made. Yes, dude. This is a gentleman's bet. A gentleman's. Not. Yeah. No money. No money on the line. Ego on the line. Ego. You have something even more valuable than money. Something that each of us value even more than money. Oh yeah, dude. I agree. I'm I'm glad it's not money. The ego of TJ and Paul on the line, which is honestly a story that's more fascinating to me than the election. Sorry, guys. We'll see. I, you, you guys know I'm a proponent of the greater evil. I want evil to win. So, I mean, Amen. you know, I think I might, my bet, I don't know really if like I didn't bet. I just know I'm going to win. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> TJ has done it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's done it? Oh, man. <laughs> TJ has uh, done it, bro. Why? Something bad going to happen. It's a gay coming. It's coming. It's the wait. gay coming. You just wait. <laughs> TJ has done it, bro. Uh, you talk your shit. <laughs> Listen, you talk your shit me, now, dude. That's the talk your shit now. Because TJ once the mommy, done it, bro. once the mommy milk washes over the lands, <laughs> and maybe you'll have nothing TJ, to say. But you know what? Until that day, who the f- knows? Who the f- knows? Your mockery TJ will be silenced it. on election night. All right. Right. You didn't make a bet to silence mockery. You, you made a bet that about uh, but intuition. he'll have nothing to say because he will see that my intuition. Yeah, right, dude. Correct. Yeah, dude. Even if you the win, prognostications dude. Come on. of TJ never wrong. Okay, never wrong. <laughs> okay, right, right. All right, <laughs> over. Are we done? Oh, let's go. Oh, so. show yeah. Our shirts. oh yeah, we got to show the shirts one last let's time. Show our shirts one last. If you guys have joined shirt. us, you guys want. Of course, join our Patreon. Some you guys know that. Shirts. Patreon, go there, go there, go there. Shirts, we got them. A lot we of people do. in here were whining. Oh, it looks like a pro-Trump shirt. Then you think it. Basically, you think of Morton Joe as the as the good guy, the hero. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good you think Morton Joe is the hero of Mad Max. Is so. it? But you know what? I can see how a tr- pro-Trumper could also wear it. This is a. F- uh, bisexual shirt. Okay. It really is. It's, Ooh, it it's is. politically agnostic. Exactly. And of uh, course, Rudy, which you guys have, I mean, gotta have Rudy. Rudy, Rudy guys want Giuliani this. coming your way. This one is clearly not politically agnostic. This no, one, leans. this one is more unambiguously <laughs> anti. Yes. This one. And we also have that hoodie. in a hoodie. I want All this hoodie too. I want a, the, I want the Giuliani hoodie real bad. And I want the Morton Dawn shirt. All right. Those well, we have, uh, that is available over at pessimist.co. You want to support the show? Go ahead go and there. go buy yourself some shirts. Go buy yourself some hoodies. And if you're a patron, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go post some codes for you guys. You guys, of course, get discounts on all our merch. Merch tier, especially you guys. Oh, yeah. Patrons always get a little healthy discount on our merch. It just, it just a foregone conclusion. So, yeah, you guys will get some codes here soon. No worries. All right, y'all. Have a good night. Love you all. Yourselves. See you on um, Friday. Friday. See you Friday. Bye bye. If we decide to come, which we maybe might, we won't. We want. We might just be like, yeah, f- we gave I'm enough. Coming. We gave him enough this week. They don't need no more. They f- off. <laughs>